Hello everybody, I'm Blazing Rebecca and welcome back to the shadows that run alongside our car and I don't think there's much longer uh, for this route for, Dust for Dustin, but I actually call him Kara and the girl Rose. And uh, there's probably not much left, but let's just continue on. Do you ever wonder, like, why us? How do we make it this far? And is it really such a good thing that we're still alive? I, I, I don't know, but in your case you might not be for much longer. <laughs> Didn't I used to? Honestly, I try not to think so hard about that stuff like that. If I stopped to wonder what my own life was worth, I... It's its a dangerous hand thought, I'll tell you that. We're here, that's what matters. Despite, despite it all, we're here, and we're safe. The how and why of it is just garnish on the salad. You know... I didn't believe it at first. I mean, they were really facing the apocalypse or whatever. So the first couple of months I just... kept working. Kept on like everything was fine. And then... Listen. You don't gotta answer me if you don't want, but... Your old man... What happened? My dad? <laughs> so he needed more beer, right? Of course he did. He was a deadbeat alcoholic. Wow. You have a touchy subject with me. But they wouldn't even let him in the nearby liquor store anymore, so he wandered off to another one. Just so happened that that part of town was infested. Great! It took a while before I even noticed, since he wasn't really any different from usual. That's pretty pathetic, huh? But so was my dad. And in the end, I wouldn't be doing much better. Great. Now I feel like I want to puke. Hey. Please don't say, they say things like that, Rose. One of us has to keep this up. Oh. Uh, rest on our hours. I sign my right hand off the wheel. Oh. Her hand rest is resting by her leg, near the center of the console, so I reach over. Her hand jerks when I touch it, but she doesn't pull away. Wow. Her skin feels... really cold. That's usually not a good sign. Is that normal? Maybe because the window's open? I don't think that's the reason. Maybe it's because she's sick. Probably... Uh... Really wish I knew a bit more about medical shit right now. <laughs> Actually, she had fever. Shouldn't she be hotter? Chill like that can't be normal. It's not even that cold in here. Oh, I know what that means then. But we're still here. Just remember that. Until that changes, there's still time. Things might never get any better. It'd be stupid to assume that they would. But while we're still breathing, there's hope. Ha, no! No, no. That's really cheesy, isn't it? Huh. Anyway, I'm sorry about that. About your dad, I mean. Even if you didn't get on with him, that must be hard. Losing someone that close to you. Oh boy. Yeah, I guess. It all happened so fast. I'm still trying to come to terms with it. I wouldn't worry too much. There's no wrong way to feel. I guess I'm almost privileged. No one I care about has been around in a long time. Wonder if there's anyone else still out there. Wonder if they're stuck out there like this. I wonder if we'll ever know. Hmm. Uh, I, uh, okay. I... Just as she starts talking, the engine gives a non sort of rumble and my heart jumps. It spurs a few times and the whole chassis lurches. With a pitiful clattering, the engine stalls out and the car can't do anything but coast. Crap. I noticed a few light click on some minutes ago, but I guess I still wanted to think we had more time. 
car rolls down the pavement until it can't anymore, and we get able to stop. I really thought the gas would last a little longer than that. Bound to happen sooner or later, wasn't it? But if I wasn't hoping for later. We bought this car used, after all. It's cost efficient, but not, not so much fuel efficient. I wonder how far the next gas station is. Probably very far! It'd be nice if there were some signs around here or something. I can't believe we've gone this long without seeing. How, where are you? In the middle of nowhere? I haven't seen anything for miles. Even without people, without lights? I can't see how this could be. Like civilization just packed up and left the moment everything started to crumble, leaving not a trace behind. Even if there were, it's not like we could have seen them. It's gotten so dark, and without the streetlights... Hmm. Hey. How fast do you think you can run? I don't want to run anymore. About average, I guess. Hmm. Do you reckon we should? Her hand touches down her to her stomach again. She felt so damn cold. I don't know. I don't know if there's a point. Not much point to anything. Not anymore. Maybe not. It's too damn dark anyhow. In all likelihood, one of us would probably trip and fall. Be pretty sad to make make it this far just to die from a bust up face. <laughs> Please just smile. Yeah, it would. Anyway, there's nothing we we can do until the sun rises. I stare out the window. The sky is clouded, but I squint. If I squint, I can see faint lights in the velvet. The breeze through the open window is quiet and clean. Guess we're crashing here tonight, then, huh? In more ways than one. Could be worse, anyway. At least the air smells nice. Yeah. I sink back into my seat. I search around for the lever on the side so I can just adjust the angle, but even when I yanked on the damn thing on it, the damn thing won't budge. Used car. Right. I try and get comfy best, the best I can. I only hope that she can too. It's gonna be a long night. Well, good night then. It's so dark now, it's, it's not so much different when I shut my eyes. I breathe in, and breathe out, and wait for sleep. I hope we see the morning. Wait, really? Wait, courtesy of freesound.org. Huh. Okay, so that was one the that was a uh, Dustin or Kara. Uh that was uh that was one route. I'm gonna see what else I can get. So I yes, I will see you in the next part. See ya!